Hello, welcome to the professional side of Sennheiser. So normally you'll see me with headphones, I'm all having fun and stuff. But even on a professional mode, you'll see me having fun. Like I had fun making these microphones. More on that later. Anyway, this review is about the Evolution Wireless G4, which is this, portable ENG, so English combo set for professional video sound. Now, what that means is, is that if you're on this video, you're probably looking for something that you can have wireless clarity of broadcasting sound quality. So that means that you need something that's gonna be wireless. So Sennheiser's got you covered, basically, here. So we've got uh, two packs here, and we've got an MKE uh, microphone as well, and it plugs in via 3.5mm jack. This is meant to be quite robust, so it's for like professional use, uh, so for interviewing, um, for filming, for TV, all that sort of stuff. It's all of that sort of stuff, and it's got loads of different FM frequencies that you can connect to to make it wireless. It also goes up to 100 meters. Now, if you checked, a couple of my old school videos to do with Sennheiser Professional, um, I think that was the AVX uh, microphone, and I'm sure this can connect to the AVX as well. But what I did is I took it to the park without any interference, any steel walls or anything like that, and I went well over 100 meters. So it was really good clarity. You see me going, I'm just totally out of frame and everything like that, but the sound quality is really good. So I'll leave a link in the description down below, but more about this. So we do have an XLR connector, and this will get plug in to this box here. And then you can set your frequency um, radio waves in here and stuff like that. And obviously your sound quality as well, you can set that or you can mute it or you can turn it on or you can turn it off. Then it plugs into one of these boxes. Which box is it? Uh, AF out. So one of them you had have on you. So this is the one you have on you and you plug this in here via 3.5 mil jack. And to save it from coming out accidentally, you've got something you can screw down, so a nice little clasping screw down, and then it stops it from coming out. And then you've got this microphone. So what we're gonna do is that I'm gonna set this up and then we'll talk, and then you can hear what the clarity of sound is. It comes with uh, four, is it, I think it was four AA batteries that you get included in this uh, set. Um, but you actually need another two for these, but I'm guessing if you wanna use two for that one, and then two for the box of the microphone, you can just do it like so. It's not too bad. So hopefully that microphone's in its good place. So we're not gonna be using this in this video. But the same uh, thing, uh, you plug it in via XLR connector, and it's got a clasp and it just kind of tightens it on. Makes it very professional and robust because it stops it from coming out, and it just locks in. And then we put this into this box here, and this box will go on top of your camera. So if you're a one-man band or you're a hundred-man band, then you can literally put these on the cameras and connect them all up without no problems whatsoever and connect and dial in your receiver or your FM radio uh, frequency to connect into that and get broadcast quality sound. It's also got an indicator on there for low battery for on and then obviously RF for your radio frequency um, will tell you what frequency it's on with this LCD display and you can use um, down and up in this nice little way and underneath is where you've got your two double A batteries and then you've got your set button and you've got your on and off button and then you've got your receiver control system there and it's all nicely packed away and on the back you've got um, a shoe mount and it's got it looks like a one core inch thread as well where you can screw it down to something and it's also got a belt clip and you can clip it down to something on there and on this one which is the microphone which I've got connected to me normally you will see these in TV or uh, films, whatever, and they have this connected to the back of their pockets or underneath with loads of backpacks so you can get a good range and wireless without any cables everywhere. Or you just have a boom arm, but this is like for interviewing and stuff, so you can sit down one to one and get lovely clarity from it. Um, so this like connects down, no problem. You've got an antenna right here and an antenna there, and it just broadcasts really well. And you've got a mute switch, so you can switch over to mute and then it'll be muted. And then on, so you can hear the sound. And then on here, it's got low battery indicator as well. And then up and down for uh, your, obviously the sound quality. Um, sorry, not sound. Well, yeah, it does because you can go through different settings as well on here. And you press the buttons together just to open it up and then it kind of clicks back in, makes a nice clicking sound, so it's nice to say. 
Then we've got another 3.5 millimeter jack, so another 3.5 millimeter jack, keeping it nice and uh, connected from going that anywhere. But well, our tension is going to be on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this up. Uh, normally I'll have this on the camera over there, but so you can see what I'm doing, it makes a lot of sense. So I'm just going to open them both up. And normally straight out of the box it's paired already. It comes with a Sennheiser logo on straight away. Um, at the moment it battery is okay but it looks like it says battery low one is green for the on off uh, right so there we go we can see my voice going up and down hello hello right so that can easily hear me no problem whatsoever so that's already set straight out of the box so if I click the settings I can go to squelch I can go to uh, sync go to exit then go to advance, auto lock, inter was that interactive? Intera inactive even. AF out with the decibels that you can increase on and off. On and off. And then the name of the actual product, because you've got a few of these going around on the film production set. You're going to need to name them because they can co uh, connect to loads. Uh, frequency preset, so B channel 1.1 at the moment. Easy setup. So if you're not very good at this sort of thing, easy setup it could be. Um, and that's it, and then we'll just come out of it by pressing back button. So each button kind of represents something when you're going through the menu and stuff, but we're gonna keep it as it is. What I would need to do though, before I can get any sound, I would need to plug it into the microphone jack there, and that would make perfect sense. So with this cable, connect it into this way and clasp it down, and then it's connected to the camera itself. And then you can hear the sound going off on this microphone when I connect it up. So let's connect this to the camera. Right, so I've got this onto my loud voice in uh, high decibels, if you want to put it like that, like so. Anyway, what's good as well is that when you're taking these boxes or packs with you, you can see these in the dark, so these are definitely professional robust models. So that means everything you want to do on a very high scalable, but not budget, <laughs> anything to do with expense and loads of money, then this is where you need to be looking at. Um, these cost £670 to buy but you can add other things onto it, which obviously increases the price. Now, if you're a journalist and you want to use the microphone, the wireless microphone, you can connect this up to this pack and you can connect up a lot of things. You can mic people up all day long and connect it all straight for the receiver. There's so many things you can connect with this. But anyway, what does this sound quality sound like? Um, I think we should go outside and do a little test because obviously it's a bit windy and a bit cold. And uh, just so you can get like a difference of like how how it's decent and then I'm gonna go 100 meters down the road and see how clear that is for you as well. Obviously I'm not gonna know unless I go back to obviously production and test the audio out. But for you guys, it'll just be all in a split second. But um, let's talk a little bit more about aesthetics. Aesthetics looks really good, very easy to use, straightforward, other than it's got an advanced mode for advanced people that know about radio frequencies and connecting channels up and all that sort of stuff, a bit like walkie talkies, but a more expensive, better version. So 330 feet, 100 meters away. This is what Sennheiser's clarifying that they can do. Let's go and check it out. Right, so now I'm gonna check how far this microphone goes through via wireless. So, see you in a bit. I'm speaking, I'm speaking. How does it sound? Does it sound great? I'm going past the gas side or the gas works on the left hand side. Does it, this is meant to be um, obli directional or is it unidirectional or bi directional? I'll find out when I go back to the studio. But that's what it's meant to sound like. Just going to touch the microphone quickly to make sure it's in the right place. Cool. Um, it's hanging off my t shirt, so it's not very sturdy or straight but hopefully there's no crackling from the hair on my chest but other than that we're just walking along can you hear me and my heartbeat walking or does it sound really nice and clean and crisp we're walking away from the gas works how far would i say i was i would say i am 10 20 30 40, about 40 meters away so let's carry on walking. This would be about 50 meters. The reason I know about this, because I used to run it all the time when I was younger, 
and these to be really good at running at really high speeds because technically I just like to have, I have a lot of energy and uh, yeah, that's what I thought I'd do. Just run about, run about annoying my mum and dad back in the day because that's what kids do. <laughs> anyway, this was very good as a forecast of my We are up to probably now about 100 metres. So I'm going to go around the corner. There's an old, there's buildings and all that. Just walk over it. That's like. Uh, uh, now, running a little bit, jogging, walking, right, I'm on top of the bridge now, so I'm basically uh, 110 metres probably away, and um, I am just on the other side, so basically if you use like a tractor, I'm like the top middle part, but I'm just in a line at the top, just a little bit to the out, and uh, moving to the left towards the right of the receiver, so hopefully it sounds good. Now I'm going to walk back. It's about 120 meters. Now I'm going to walk back. And dun dun dun. Let's jog with it. What does it sound like? Hopefully it sounds okay. It probably doesn't sound okay. But does it sound like in technology? Because the technology does it sound like. Are you thinking about purchasing the g -force? They are pretty new. I have had these for months and months and months and months and I've only just started to do the review on it. I want to see what you kind of people think about this product. Some people got the G3s and they probably like the, the sound quality of that more than the G4s. But we don't know the G4s. What's so different from the G3s to the G4 you may say? Well, that's up to your own preferences. If you've got the G3, try the G4. You might like the G4. If you don't like the G4, then you might like the G3. Stick with that. Don't really know. It's your own preferences. Sound quality on these are pretty, pretty, pretty nice. So hopefully everything I'm saying at 110, 120 metres away, that you could still hear me. There's loads of still, woods, grass, mud, uh, loads of interference, flats, parking, cars up above me, uh, birds tweeting, everything. So on the right hand side, we are now walking towards the gas works and the gas works is all that noise you can hear and it skips my voice. So hopefully this doesn't sound too bad and it sounds pretty good. Hey, I'm back in frame near enough. Oh, that's cool. Hopefully it sounds good and it's starting to rain. It's like the 14th of December today. So, Sennheiser, we love you. <laughs> right, so let's check out the hiss and there's are any hiss from walking down the road without me saying anything. So, how good does it sound so far? After listening, do you hear any hiss or can you hear the background? We will go somewhere quiet, we'll go back into the studio and have a little listen to see what it sounds like without any noise whatsoever. Right, so outside, I've just listened back uh, on the sound. It was around 80 meters that we got to, but to be honest with you, where I was, was in Chelmsford City, and there is so much 
things going on. There's people with their radio stations on in their cars, all different cars. It's really packed, it's near Christmas, so it's full of traffic with loads of cars. We've got radio uh, tariffs everywhere because uh, BBC Essex, uh, Essex FM is only down the road. Um, Marconi, all those, well, Marconi used to be around, but those are people that invented radio, so that's in Essex. And there is um, the issue of like, I could have flicked through different radio stations to obviously get further distance. But at 80 meters, who's gonna be doing journalism at 80 meters away? You're not gonna, it's not really right. You, well, it depends if you're like with lines and stuff like that. But if you're with lines and that, then there'll be no radio receptions and loads of cars, loads of traffic getting for it. So I'm in the city. This is the whole point. I'm wanting to get a good, nice um, range to find out how good these are. Now with the AVX system, that did, that was out in the park and there was no, there was cars, but the cars were in a park like miles, well not miles away, probably about a good like 200, no, probably about, yeah, actually, probably about 750 meters away, the cars would be, with the radio uh, receptions going off in their cars and stuff. Plus, it's near a main road, but it's a massive park called Highlands Park. Look it up, and you can see like how big that park is. It's where V Festival happens and stuff. And that's where I took the AVX um, like receivers. And basically, it didn't even cut out, but it was just an open space. It was in the summer. There was loads of people about. Uh, Bluetooth speakers, their phones and everything, so it was really busy. And I went from just ages, probably about 300 meters away, and it was fine. And you can see that clearly in um, the actual video itself. But obviously taking it with a fully populated area, different story. Oh, there's also buildings, loads of still works and stuff all going on. So there's loads of things that interfere with it. But technically I could have just um, changed the uh, radio reception, but I couldn't tell until I got back. So now I'm back. Well, I, I had a little listen on the actual headphones, but going back and having listened to it, it's a different story to see where it's kind of cutting out. But at least we know from a standstill how far we can go and, and we've got different radio frequencies that we can use and change. Anyway, so if this is kind of what you're looking for, that you want to connect other uh, things up to and everything like that and have a mute button or you can mute it and and you can take different things and connect to it and bolt it on and stuff like that, you can do this with that. But anyway, these are the EWG4 Sennheiser GBs, and uh, this is the Evolution Wireless G4 um, set. So does it sound better than the G3 or G2 or G1? It's up to you, your own different preferences. Anyway, that review's done now. I like them, I think that's really good. But I don't know whether to add my video on where I made a microphone in 10 seconds. 10 seconds, that would be awesome. Sennheiser would have hired me ages ago. Right, so uh, it was filmed off my Note 9. It wasn't like the greatest footage ever. I might put it on the end of this video, but I made one micro or I made two microphones and signed it, all in under 10 minutes. So they had pre-sold on the microphones, and these ones are the E865. So they're around 200 and something pound each. And I thought these weren't that expensive, so I was laughing at Sennheiser saying, "You invite me down to this event, and you got these cheap microphones to um, like so." The consumer, it doesn't really matter. You could just like literally um, give us these microphones and we can do whatever we want to it. I just realized I've ruined, look, my signature's kind of gone off of there. The signature's rubbing off on that one. But anyway, um, and you got pre sold on these microphones and everything. And I was doing them all up and I was like, oh wow. And then, are oh, these going to be really real? And then they connected up to XLR um, the control box or uh, whatever, it's a mixer. And then I was like, testing, testing, one, two, three, and it freaking worked. And I was like, wow. And they were like, do you know how much these are? I was like, no. And they're like, 200 on pound. I was like, wow, okay. I thought these were just like mucking about for the event. But anyway, the event also had people like uh, Freddie Mercury's engineer there, where well, he's not obviously alive now, but it did have an engineer that works with Katy Perry and all other famous people and stuff like that. And they were talking about radio frequencies and all that sort of stuff. Might leave you a link in the description down below because that's where I was at that event. If you're highly into like radio waves and being a sound engineer and knowing what goes on at Sennheiser and you want to try and get in there with these big celebrities, you might be able to. But anyway, um, this is the end of the review. Uh, subscribe, share and like and ask me any questions you like. There'll be a Discord connection down below if you want to connect with me and talk more in depth about this professional gear. You can do. Anyway, I will see you next one. Thanks for watching. Roger and out.
So I'm on about to make, uh, what's this, 835? 865. 865. So a crappy microphone, my sennheiser. Yeah. But because it's made by me, it should be good. It depends, though. So, now, I'm AJ. Right, so, what's, what's this called? That's the capsule. The capsule. Right, and it's got housing. It goes on this way. Come on, how you making it look bad? I don't put my things on that bit. It's got a bit of that greasy stuff on there. Feel free to if you want to. Yeah. Right, so we've got that on there. Then this goes in here. Right, other way. Yeah. And then the blue one goes on the right hand side, doesn't it? There we go. Oh, hang on, which way am I going to go? That way around. Uh, no, it goes. Oh, no, yeah, the right side. Yes, I was right, yeah. That's it. Now I've just got to remember to do this. See so some tweezers. So I should, have done, I should have done this live. No, no, don't do it live. Don't do it live. I was going to say. Right, so let's do it here. And then it goes. It would have been here. hilarious live. <laughs> and then it goes here, so I give it a little bit. Right, so I need to go back. Get in there. Got the trouble Right, hold that down and. Free as well. Oh, I didn't see that there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that was sneaky. All right, let me get this in there. Let me get this in there. All right, keep that little one. Yeah, it's working. Well, that was already funny in my left hand. All right, now I've got to melt, melt the pre solder on there. Come on, get over there. So that's one side done. Do it, that's that done. So let's get this in here. Doing well, three minutes in and you nearly done it. Try it. <laughs> Right. Oh, this, I hate this bit. This is the, the annoying bit, this bit here. It is. It's a hard bit. Yeah. <laughs> Just trying to clip these down. Right. Come on, get in there. Uh, so the cables are quite durable. We can do a good push in. It should be fine. <laughs> Then get in that lovely bit. Alright. Then. So I'm just heating this solder up right now, or trying to. There we go. Uh, and there it is. It's on there tight. Just want to pop that blue one back in. Yeah, sure do. Not, oh well, I don't really want it, but <laughs> we'll do it anyway. Make sure it looks perfect. Awesome. Right, there we go. So that's what we got to go for, that, that look. Yeah. Uh, everything's all in there properly so far. And now it is... You can't tell me, don't tell me. It is. It is this, isn't it? Right? And then what we do, we get some Loctite and then we put it on. Where are we going? Whoa! Good catch. <laughs> and we put it on. Oh, these little bits, wasn't it? That's it, yeah. One on each side. What about this one? I have to solder that at some point, yeah. Right, so I'm going to solder them last. Technically, it should have been that one first, then that. 
Oh, yeah. Right, so here, yeah? So it's a Roger Mike, it's special. Yeah, <laughs> it is. <laughs> All right, only a little bit of glue yeah. on there. All right, and then... Should I right. some signal in there as well? Yeah, that's there in there. Perfect. And this way in is all wrong. Oh, that way round. That's it. Alright. I can't remember. Turn that round. Oh, yeah. You got it. What an idiot. Oh, there yeah. There we go. And then we got to just <laughs> clip it on there together. Nice and tight. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Can you tell what it is yet? Yeah? Alright, so that's that. Then we got to um, solder these bits in. So I've got to use this again. <laughs> so this has got pre soldered on it. Make sure it goes in there straight. That's cool. So that's one. And then number two. Get it in the middle, that's done. Now this one. It's coming back quite quickly. It's trying to. <laughs> Hang on, I've got to try and uh, bend this one. I'm really crap with my left hand. It feels like a chopstick to me right now. <laughs> uh. Alright, here we go, last one to do on there. That's really close to my fingers. Hang on a minute, trying to get done. Wait until it melts. There we go. That's it. That's that done. Then you just check to make sure everything's on there properly. So one, two, three. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Awesome. Right, so next will be uh, the rubber rings. Alright, and uh, we have to grease them up first. What is this? Silicone? Silicone. Oh no, afterwards. Afterwards. Alright, so get in there. Get Put a small one down there to go into the channel. So it goes into this channel right here. And check to make sure it's okay. That looks cool. And then the big one goes into this big channel here. It's a bit like a girly hair band thing. Right, just make sure it's all in there properly. Get a brush. And then maybe uh, does this for me, so that's cool. And then you just Get a little bit on. It's a silicone, isn't it? Silicone, yeah. Yeah, silicone. Sil silicon. And then we just brush it on. My other one was better though. This is a little bit too much, I think. <laughs> so this is to make sure that it's uh, easy to get on. Slide the capsule over. All right, so that's not too bad. And then we put it on this side here. Ah. Don't get it on your hands. Don't get it on your hands. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens if you get it on your hands? Nothing. Just wash them. Yeah, it's just, it's just horrible. It's just a bit oily. <laughs> and then we get uh, the base, the uh, housing even, and then we turn it around uh, to the notch, which is there, and then that notch goes on there. And then we get this as well, the capsule. So not like the normal capsules I do in my videos, but this is all good and you just screw it on. And then you got the little thread screw. And they didn't give me an electric screwdriver for this. So technically, uh, yeah. Not by hand, not by hand. <laughs> so I'm making sure I got a good thread on that one, so that's good. And this goes in the little hole here. No, well, this is a really good video because it's hard to build a microphone in under 10 minutes. Exactly, exactly. But you only <laughs> had 10 minutes to fill. <laughs> oh, well. if, if, you, if you can pre, if uh, Senator pre does it for you. 9 minutes 12 at the minute. Alright, there we go, there we go. Ah, and I've got a bad hand as well. It's the longest thread in the world. Ah, Alright. Alright, there we go, that's done. And then what we test. do, oh yeah, we test it. Oh quickly. yeah, we've got to test it. No, we've got to test it. Yeah, and I can't, which way does it go? There we go. Hello, 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 no, no, no. Testing, testing, one, two, three. It's working. <laughs> this go. is a Rod Justin Eyes on microphone. And then you've got to sign it as well. Uh, which one's going to uh, gold? No, rose gold. I'm wasting time here, isn't I? <laughs> the, oh, How many sport you ate? Come on. There we go. Yay. Yay. Excellent. Excellent. Great stuff.